In this presentation we're going to look at an introduction to truth tables as part of uh, the discrete mathematics series. So what I have here is a truth table. I have two propositions P and Q. So let's look at these first. P is that the place in question is a city. Q is the proposition that the place is in Europe. Also I have the logical conditions AND and R. These are the two most common logical operations. The symbols are the, this little uh, wedge symbol here. I'm just going to colour it in red. And this little V symbol. Now it's important to know which is which, although in certain books they will actually actually use the word AND and R rather than the symbols. Now let's look at our four places. I picked out four uh, very uh, well-known places and what we're going to do is first off determine whether or not the place is a city. So first off we have Argentina and that is not a city so I'm going to put a zero here although in it's equally uh, uh, valid to actually use F for F for false but I'm going to use a zero and one to represent uh, true and false here. Uh, but F, uh, F and T will also be valid uh, representations of true and false. So also I have now I have Belgium, and uh, Belgium is not a city, so that's going to be zero. Chicago is a city that is true, so I'm going to put a one there. And again, in other notation, you might put a T there instead. I'm going to go with zero and one. And we have Dublin, and Dublin is a city, so a one there. Now we're going to look at Proposition Q. Are these places in Europe? Well, Argentina is in South America, so that is going to be a zero. Belgium, that's in Europe, right in the heart of Europe, give that a one. Chicago, North America, give that a zero. And we have Dublin in Ireland, which is in Europe, and we have give that a one. So now we're going to look at the AND condition. So what has to happen here is the place has to be a city and has to be in Europe. It has to be a European city, essentially. So Argentina, South American country, not a European city, zero. Belgium is in Europe, but it's not a city, zero. Chicago is a city, but not in Europe, zero. And we have Dublin in Ireland. It's a European city, give that a one. Now we're going to look at the last proposition, R. So it has to fulfill one of the two criteria. It has to be a city or it has to be in Europe. So, is Argentina a city? No. Is it in Europe? No. Uh, so, give that a zero. Is Belgium a city? No. Is it in Europe? Yes. Give that a one. Chicago, is that a city? Yes. It's not in Europe, but it is a city. One. And Dublin, as we said before, is a European city. Give that a one. And that is how we might fulfill a truth table. Now, the ordering there for P and Q I picked deliberately to be consistent with uh, how you would construct truth tables later on. But I won't get into that now, but it was deliberately picked to be consistent with stuff you will see later on. Before I go, I'm going to look at the negation symbol. Uh, not P, not Q. So it's this little uh, symbol over here. I'm just going to put it in again there. Not P. Now this means uh, not a city for an, uh, and not a not in Europe. So first off, Argentina is that not a city? That, well, the fact that it's not a city is true, so that's going to be one. Belgium not a city, that's one. Chicago is a city, so we're interested in places not being cities, that's zero, and uh, not a city, zero. Now I just uh, draw your attention to the fact that it's the exact opposite of these over here. Okay, so if you have a zero here, that means there's a one here. If there's a one here, we have a zero over here. Now let's do the same for Q. Not in Europe. Argentina is not in Europe. That is true. One. Our, uh, Belgium is in Europe, so we have a zero there. Chicago is not in Europe. That is a one. And Dublin is in Europe, so that we're not of in interest in that. That's a zero there. And again, I just draw your attention to the fact it's the opposites of these. If it's zero, switch to one. If it's one, you switch to zero. 
And that ends our that ends our presentation.